Hello, students. We are talking about the nervous system today. So the nervous system is made up of your brain and all the nerves in your body. Um, we is divided into two parts, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. So I want to watch this little video about um, being smart. So when you are smart and you learn something new, it makes new connections in your brain. So I want you to watch this animated video about making new connections in the brain. And this is what happens every time you um, make a new memory. So your brain actually grows. This is really amazing. And this is at the microscopic level. Okay, let me click play. Let's see if it'll play. Yes. Watch. We're thinking and watch this. It's highlighted for you. It's making a connection between those two things, a growth cone. Now watch the next new memory form. So all of this is going on in your brain all the time when you're learning something new. So we want you to grow, not just physically like um, grow up to be an adult. We want you to grow these nerve cells in your brain so that you can become smarter and smarter. All right. That was really interesting. There are two main um, parts of the central nervous system, the brain, which you know what that is, and the spinal cord, which runs from the back of your brain all the way down your spine through the center of your body. Now, you have um, some touch receptors. Um, your nerves go to all parts of your skin so that you can feel when something is um, having pressure or heat or cold. Or pain, right? So, um, central and peripheral nervous system. This is um, the diagram and it doesn't show you everything because there's nerves going to every single part of your body. This is just a few of those. But you can see the um, cerebrum, which is the large part of the brain, and then the uh, spinal cord going down through the middle of the spine. The brain, there's three parts of the brain. The large part is called the cerebrum. And then the part underneath in the back is called the cerebellum. Then you have the brainstem medulla coming out of the bottom of the brain. The cerebrum is your, um, or cerebral cortex, is where you do your thinking and your learning and your, your creativity. You have five senses that connect to parts of those brain. Um, we have memory and emotion, problem solving and making decisions. Here is a highlighted um, section of, um, of the brain, and each section of the brain does something different. If you hit the back of your head, you might lose vision for a while because that's where your vision is um, thinking right there. And you're thinking and you have your, um, your, your thinking right up here in the front of your brain. Your speech is controlled in the middle and language is kind of on the sides. All right, so let's move on. The hippocampus is in the center of the brain. It can, um, stores and processes memories. It helps you find different memories and affects your emotions. Kind of a wishbone shaped um, small organ in the middle of the brain. The cerebellum coordinates muscles and movement and learned skills. All right, you have another picture of the cerebellum toward the um, bottom of the under the brain, receives messages from most of the muscles in your body, communicates with the other parts of the brain, and sends messages about movement and balance back to your body. The brainstem coordinates heartbeat, breathing, digestion, swallowing, blinking. These are the um, parts of the brain, uh, parts of your body that are automatic. They are automatic. You don't have to think about your heart beating. This is um, the involuntary um, responses that your body has. Breathing is involuntary digestion. Don't have to think about it. Swallowing, blinking, you just can do it automatically out of your brain stem. The spinal cord is a bundle of nerves that carries the messages between the brain and the rest of the body. It's a long tube of nerve tissue running from the back of the neck um, down the length of your spine, inside the spine, and it's located inside the spine. You have um, back trouble that could be because of um, there's a bone pressing on that nerve. Peripheral nervous system um, is your sensory nerves. So like from your eyes, ears, mouth, um, tongue, um, and touch. Nerve cells. Okay. You saw this um, 
the microscopic video, and this is just an illustration of what a nerve cell could look like. And there's a little synapse here, a little gap right there that um, the um, feelings or the emotions or the senses go through that little gap. Stimulus and responses, that's what happens. If you get, um, if something like you put your hand on something and it's hot, that sends a signal from the hand to the brain really fast. And the brain says, um, move your hand. And it goes back to your hand and you, and you release your hand from the, something that's hot. So it's a stimulus response type of action and reaction. And we have five inputs into the central nervous system from our ears. We hear from our skin that we touch and feel pressure and pain. We smell things with our nose, we hear things with our ears, and we see things with our eyes. Very good. Thank you for listening to the lesson on the nervous system.